racist and hateful, those are words used to describe social media posts from a Fort Worth city leader. Yeah, and he could be forced out of his job at a meeting tonight. WFAA's Eric Alvarez has the latest. I'm here at City Hall in Fort Worth, where flags fly at half staff in honor of those killed in a horrific mass shooting in El Paso. And it's here that the City Council today will decide whether to remove Michael Steele from the Human Relations Commission following inappropriate social media posts, which are now drawing new criticism in light of the tragedy in El Paso. It is pretty messed up. Fort Worth resident Aya Cosido reacting to two simple words, buy ammo. They appear over an article blaming the death of the Republican Party on immigrants. Seeing what happened in El Paso and that people died from it is messed up. The post isn't from an alleged shooter's manifesto. It's from the widely shared screenshots concerned residents took from the Facebook page of Michael Steele, one of nine members of the Human Relations Commission, a group that's supposed to promote diversity and inclusion. The post from 2018 was emblazoned on a change.org petition to have him removed last month, prompting Mayor Betsy Price to speak out. I've called for his resignation effective immediately. Steele could not be reached for comment Tuesday, but previously told WFAA partner the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, some may not agree with my message, but I followed the policies and procedures set forth by the city. I do not intend to resign. That prompted the commission to approve a recommendation to have him removed. The decision now goes to the city council, where some have already pledged to put an end to Steele's tenure, like council member Ann Zeta, who posted to her Facebook followers her intention to remove Steele, either on the recommendation of the commission or unilaterally, something Kosaro says is in the best interest of everyone. They should be removed and taken out. In Fort Worth, I'm Eric Alvarez.